What problems do you think social media has introduced to Muslims in their daily life? Exposing them to inappropriate content, but not only that, it's um, they see the hate, like they see that people, like we genuinely know now that there's people out there that don't like us, that don't class us as British, that want us to leave. So we genuinely know that there's people out there, but the only thing that we can do, we can use social media to our, um, to our advantage as well to try to spread that um, Islam brings means, is peace. What problems do you think social media has introduced into the Muslims in their daily life? Um, I think that social media has a big impact on the way that you view yourself. Um, especially physically, I think there's a, like an idealised way of how one should look um, for both girls and boys. Social media, in a way, I think has two things in it. That is the advantage and the disadvantage. In that it creates awareness sometimes, but then it is time consuming. Instead of our Muslims reading the book of Allah, they end up spending time doing social media which benefits them in a way in no way at all in this dunya or in the akira subhanallah i think there's a lot of um, pressure on muslims to act a certain way and there's a lot of kind of social media propagates a very certain kind of image of what a muslim is like and um, they're shown to be very conservative very um, not open to change and open to new things but i don't think that's the way muslims are what problems do you think social media has introduced to the muslims a lot a lot of problems um it's just i think one of the biggest ones is self-confidence a lot of young muslims they're, they're trying to keep up an image on social media and they're trying to like it's like a double life there they look one way on social media and they're trying to keep up with appearances and all this other stuff and I just think it's not nonsense people just be themselves social media shows different angles some things can be spun and I think um, just going through some of the daily social media things that I look at um, you get different angles and different perspectives and it's really really easy to manipulate things and change things yeah. um, so it's really important that we really uh, research before we believe in everything that we see on social <laughs> media yeah fake news all that kind of stuff fake news yeah I think um, on the internet nowadays there are a lot of social media influencers who are Muslim um, and the Muslim community sometimes doesn't realise that they aren't representing Islam rather they're representing their own personality and um, sometimes people get the wrong message so they think of them as yeah they're my idols I need to be like them but it's it's not how it is basically. What problems do you think social media has given to Muslims in their daily life? Okay, so I think that the fact that social media is extremely decentralised and by that what I mean is anyone can post at any time mm. and because of that, you know, we as an Ummah have been warned of false leaders, you know, mm. and yeah. what happens is these people can get a platform and they can lead, you know, good people with good intentions to bad consequences and I think it's really important for us as a community to unilaterally denounce people who espouse hate or a bad way of you know leading our society which doesn't lead to tolerance and peace amongst everyone